Time now for this week's shocking stat. One of the most controversial society-changing decisions in modern history has been the European Union's open refugee policy as advocated by Angela Merkel. It's a staple of the progressive left, but then reality came through, and it's a harsh taskmaster, which has now forced President Merkel to change her stance regarding refugee entry. The social and political backlash has been massive, so much so that President Merkel is now pushing a policy called Your Country, Your Future Now. The program offers individual migrants up to equivalent of $1,600 Canadian if they voluntarily leave Germany and return home, while families can receive up to about $4,700 Canadian. You know, there are more than just financial consequences, though, of the inept, unrealistic refugee policy. The big one is the demise of the European Union itself. That policy has fueled, for a large part, the rise of anti-EU, anti-open refugee governments that may once again find their voice in this Sunday's Italian election. Big story. I'll be watching that very closely. Of course, they already have in Brexit uh, with Hungary and Austria, Poland, Spain, just to name a few examples. Which brings me to my shocking stat of the week. 40. The number 40. That's the number of no-go zones in Germany, according to Bild magazine, and Bild newspaper, who in their headline story outlined areas where police no longer go, as they describe them as burgeoning ghettos, parallel societies, and no-go areas. President Merkel herself has acknowledged the existence of these areas where the German authority is no longer in effect. This is in their own country. And she says that no-go zones will no longer be tolerated. We'll see how that works out. But Germany now joins Sweden, where there are 23 no-go zones for authorities around Stockholm. But this problem is not far from over. I mean, look at the Gladstone Institute report, where they quoted estimates that leaked classified government documents that reported there are 6 million refugees in countries around the Mediterranean ready to cross into the EU. All of this is what happens, though, when the fantasy land, he lets have all ponies and cotton candy for everyone mentality of the progressive left, as exemplified by Merkel and the EU, meets reality. You know what? In the end, sooner or later, reality always wins.